Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. Now, um, you know, people like me uh, oftentimes uh, face a certain amount of criticism because we come on here and we uh, delineate certain problems that are uh, vitally important. But what we do is we point out um, uh, problems, but oftentimes do not have solutions for them. And I am just as guilty as other people in this regard because uh, oftentimes uh, we are incapable of seeing the solutions or the solutions are too difficult to implement or uh, they have ramifications that uh, are undesirable. <clears throat> so um, when I look at things from my perspective, I see very little that can be done in a positive vein that does not result in negative consequences for people who engage in such activity. And uh, certainly, uh, whereas in the past I would have said that uh, some amount of political activism might uh, provide some uh, catharsis to you, might provide some impetus for positive change within our society, I think we have all come to understand and realize that in the political process that we have now, your voice is completely shut out. It doesn't matter at this point, uh, e even if you're able to get a decent uh, regional movement or whatever uh, brought up, uh, the amount of people converging on City Hall uh, does not prevent the catastrophic results of uh, corporate hegemony in this, in this country. Um, Take Wisconsin as a perfect example, okay? They had sustained uh, 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 rigorous attacks against uh, fucking working people, uh, assaults on labor unions, assaults on the working class in this country by the fascist fucking dictator, Scott Walker, up there. And in the face of this, in the face of this, we had massive protests outside the Wisconsin Capitol in an effort to try and sway the political opinion away from the utterly corrosive fucking anti-labor shit that was coming out of that state. And you see exactly what happened. And this is the bellwether of the fascist right-wing motherfuckers who control this fucking country and half the states and the corporate fucking oligarchical control mechanism. The bellwether of these right-wing fascists is that they have progressed to the point where rather than accepting the minuscule voices of those who cry to be heard and have some fucking input into whatever happens in society, rather than even deigning to fucking listen, they instead entrench themselves to be even more strident in their defense of their neo-confederate serfdom philosophy of utter corporate domination. And who gives a fuck how many bodies are laid waste in the fucking war that they want to continue? Now don't take this as a defense for the Democrats or the left. Because it's not. As I've pointed out a thousand times, there is no difference between the parties. The only difference that you're going to find is the implementation, the propaganda, and the blather that comes out of their fucking shithole mouths. They both work for the same fucking agenda. Now, in light of the fact that we have come to understand the mindset of the right-wing fascist fucking ideologues, that is, that corporate domination should continue apace, where you have Obama, Mr. Liberal Leftist, fuck yourself, uh, who wants to lower the corporate tax rate 
So does the Republicans. Virtually everything they say, they agree they want to do. I don't understand why there's even this face-off over this supposed nonsense, ridiculous, made-up fucking fiscal cliff thing made to scare us all half to fucking death. If you look at the proposals for both sides, they basically say, say the same motherfucking things. And you know what's interesting, too, is that when you look at both the House Republican plan and Obama's plan, excuse me, that's Prometheus playing upstairs. You might hear a little bit of it in the background. Um, if you look at both of the plans, you will notice one thing in particular. Neither one of those programs has any cuts to defense. Huh. It seems to me that in this round of coming to some sort of uh, deal on the evil fiscal cliff, that both the liberal leftist Obama has totally thrown out the defense cuts. And, of course, this is exactly what the right-wing fascist warmongers would like as well. Okay? So, trying to approach this from a point of view of attacking those targets which just beg to be fucking assaulted because of their lunatic fucking shit that spews out of their fucking heads, and you saw all of it on display during the election, when Republican after Republican came out and talked about rape and bodies rejecting rape semen and uh, shutting down from having any negative consequences for forcibly being uh, raped and, and, uh, and abused and, and comparing rape to any number of other completely unrelated things. Anytime they opened their mouths, they revealed their idiotic fucking fucked up, insane fucking minds. And yet, instead of ever coming to a realization that, hey, wait a minute, maybe I'm fucking sick in my fucking head. No, no, no. No, we're not going to have that. No. They entrench themselves and Katie bar the door. They don't let anybody get through that thing. They support their rape comments, and by God, there is that biological mechanism that when you're forced uh, to have sex with somebody via rape, that there's that intricate fucking mechanism that goes into action and shovels out the rape sperm and makes sure no egg is inseminated. It's a complicated biological process. Why? It's the best thing that ever happened to a woman ever. Well, if that's the case, then I guess... They think it's good you should go out and rape because you can see this miracle of, of uh, modern biology and chemistry in action where the female body just it rejects that semen and everything comes out great. <laughs> How could anybody even say that without their head fucking exploding from stew fucking pinity? So we've seen this on display. We know that uh, politicians are going to be completely uh, deaf to anything that we have to say about public policy issues, and that includes the supposed leftists, the supposed Democrats, the supposed progressives. All of these people are part of the co are part of the machine. They're all cogs in the machine. They're all gears. They're all mechanisms that are controlled by the corporate oligarchy. Okay, so in that sense, they will not listen to the people. They are only going to listen to their fucking paymasters. If I could go into my congressman's office with a briefcase full of motherfucking money, that motherfucker the next day would be proposing a fucking bill I wanted to have passed. You can take that motherfucking statement to the motherfucking bank Write it on a withdrawal slip, hand it to the fucking teller, and get your cash, baby, because that is the truest motherfucking thing you're going to hear. So, what does that leave us? Obviously, there are a lot of people who think that the only possible solution here is insurrection, uprising, civil war, death, murder, mayhem. But a lot of these people, and I'm included in this, are sitting back and they're saying, this is what we want to avoid at all costs. Because I spend my time pointing out the lunacy 
of conducting wars anywhere in this fucking world because we do not need to be killing anybody. We do not need to be involved in any fucking conflicts around this in, around this world. We do not need to be raining death down upon anybody. And we certainly don't need to be foaming at the mouth to kill our own fucking neighbors and friends in some kind of bloody civil uprising. So I'm completely against that. I don't want it to get to that point. So how can we have any kind of voice? Well, the other possibility would be mass mobilization of the people, but this is completely intractable as well because there is simply not enough momentum for anybody to grab a hold of enough people to have enough of an effect. So, what is a solution that I think might bear some fruit, some positive fruit for us. The right will not listen, The and in fact will completely override whatever you said and do exactly the opposite of what you want, just in defiance of you because they're lunatic, sociopath, psychopathic, motherfucking, exploding brain jackasses. The people occupying the positions will not listen to you because they only listen to money. So where does that leave us? That leaves us with the so-called progressive media outlets. Okay, This is an idea that I came up with today because it is something that might have some positive effect in the future. Because the left media, quote unquote, okay, most of that is going to be controlled by corporations, okay? But there are outlets that are rather progressive in the way that they present the news and follow politics and things of this nature, okay? They're sensitive to progressive ideas, okay? But all of these groups, <coughs> not all of them, there are a few that are honest. And Black Agenda Report is one of them. And uh, Black Agenda Radio with uh, Glenn Ford and Nellie Bailey, which you can listen on the Progressive Radio Network, standing up for the black community against Obama and his assaults on the black community. In particular, not to mention the entire rest of the country and the working class in this country. Okay, That is one solid media outlet. Okay, Th That is not a target for what I am proposing. What I am proposing is that everybody who has an idea about pressing for progressive change in this country, that we need to assault the so-called left and so-called liberal media with unending fucking emails, phone calls, letters, everything you can possibly fucking imagine. And I'm going to start doing this tomorrow, okay? And I hope that some of you out there will do this as well absolutely flood these fucking sycophantic shielders of fucking Obama, who nonetheless pour out these progressive ideas and actually say what ideas are important for change, what things can be done, and yet fail to recognize that Obama is the chief uh, enemy against any of those things happening. So why don't we flood the left, quote-unquote, and liberal, quote-unquote, media outlets which stand up for the Democrats and Obama and yet have or want to portray themselves as progressive media outlets with absolute venom for their failure to call out Obama for putting Medicare on the table, for putting Social Security on the table, when they have absolutely nothing to do with the fucking budget, the deficit, or the fucking debt, because they're off-budget items. And yet he puts them on the table to come to some kind of big compromise, which basically means they all decide how they're going to carve us up and which part each of them is going to get to eat out of our fucking flesh. And that's what it boils down to. The left, quote-unquote, and the liberal, quote-unquote, media are very, very susceptible to public opinion. 
And if we can have a tremendous flow of venom towards these organizations, for one, standing up and shielding Obama, who has been an utter fucking disaster for the middle class in this country, the working class in this country, for blacks in this country, for uh, immigrants in this country. You name the demographic that does not include millionaires, corporate motherfucking raiders and fat cats, and fucking banks. He has been a disaster for everything but them. Hit these media outlets with venom for shielding Obama, for not calling him out for his fucking rapaciousness, and for his own bringing up all of these social safety net items and just practically lobbing them over the fence to the fucking rabid dog motherfucking Republican jackasses. And remember, this is all a game. I'm not talking about something like this is actual real politics here. It's all a show. I understand this. But if we can have an impact somewhere, it may provoke some action, okay? And if the progressive media outlets get inundated with enough commentary, enough avalanche of fucking emails and letters and phone calls telling them to quit shielding this motherfucking scam artist and this stab you in the back motherfucker President Obama and get on the fucking bandwagon to call out every one of these motherfuckers who occupy these political positions to get off their motherfucking ass and start passing some laws that actually do something good for the working class in this country. Give us fucking jobs. Stop the fucking foreclosures. Stop these fucking banks from robbing us fucking blind. And do something about raising up the people in this country, giving back to the middle class everything that's fucking been stolen off of them, and doing something about the fucking poverty in this fucking country, and serving this up on the fucking plate of fucking so-called leftist liberal fuck Obama and all these other motherfucking Democrats in Congress. Because these outlets are susceptible to fucking uh, the will of the people, the voice of the unheard. But it has to be loud and it has to be sustained. So I suggest absolutely hammering progressive media outlets with as much bullet-pointed criticism as you can muster against them for their shielding of the Democratic Party, their shielding of the backstabbing motherfucker Obama, and for them not calling these people out and demanding that they actually fulfill even one motherfucking promise that they might have made during the course of their fucking campaign. Because that cocksucker Obama has not kept one of them. And yes, these outlets are all great for, for pointing out the absolute lunacy of the fascist right wing. And they point it out really good. But anybody can see that. You wake up in the morning and the motherfuckers are acting like somebody fucking shot acid into their fucking brain. You, you don't need them to do that. What they need to do is they need to start calling a spade a spade. They need to start calling the truth the truth. And they need to start pointing their criticism where it needs to be pointed. To the faux motherfucking liberal wrapped leftist shielded fucking corporate motherfucking sellout backstabbing son of a bitch President Obama and every one of his fucking followers in the House and the Senate. And then maybe we can actually have an effect. Because if the progressive media moves in that direction the so-called left and liberals in this country will have no choice but to follow to some extent and if they can even get a little bit of their voice heard, then maybe we can have some positive progress politically, economically, etc. That's a solution before we get to the bloodshed phase. And if it doesn't work, what's it going to cost you? Some phone calls, some emails, some letters, whatever. 
I think this actually has a chance of having some success because nowhere else are you going to find even a modicum of any real hope that your message is going to be heard, let alone acted upon. So, that's my idea. Let us flood progressive media outlets with condemnation of their uh, shielding and support of President Obama, of the Democrats, and their complete lack of pointing out their sellout, motherfucking, stab you in the fucking liver with a fucking rusty knife motherfucking attitudes that they have, and their corporate fucking sellout, Wall Street fucking empty soup motherfuckers, and start laying out what needs to be done in this country. We need jobs, we need foreclosures stopped, we need usury stopped, we need uh, amnesty for student loans, we need fucking infrastructure repairs, we need all kinds of fucking shit in this country. And it's about time somebody started saying what needs to be done, and I think we have an opportunity to do that through the so-called progressive media outlets. So find the ones, you know, like Think Progress, Alternet, you know, those are just a couple, okay? Look around. You can find all kinds of them. Huffington Post. Um, there are other ones. I mean, just have a look. Start bombarding these people with emails and phone calls and letters and tell them. We, we, we want Social Security not only not cut, we want benefits increased. We want the age to receive it reduced, not raised. We want Medicare expanded to cover everybody in this motherfucking country. And we want you, motherfucking so-called progressive fucking media outlet, to call out the fucking shit face, motherfucking asshole, cocksucker, corporate fucking sellout Obama and put his motherfucking feet to the goddamn fire and make him actually do something. And maybe some of the dormant left in this country will finally wake up. Oh, and point out his warmongering and his fucking drone bombing and his killing and murder of fucking U.S. citizens, etc., 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 while you're at it. I think we could actually have a positive effect if we get enough people to do this. Anyway, that's my message for right now. Hopefully it will lead to some positive impetus. It will at least give some of you something to do that might pos po possibly bear some fruit. Because we know the other avenues are completely closed. This is one that I think we could have some effect on. So, thank you, and good night.